What is up guys, and welcome back to Nintendo Corner, and I'm back with another Flash Showcase. In this video, showcase will be King Boo from the Luigi's Mansion series. But before we get into the showcase, I'd like to thank you guys so much for 50 subscribers. It really means a lot to me, and I will be having a 50 subscriber special coming out on the 27th, and I'll talk a bit more about that at the end of the video. But without further ado, let's get into the showcase. As you can see, he stands at around 10 inches tall, and I'll give you a comparison of him with the Luigi's Mansion series Luigi plush. And as you can see, Luigi is a bit taller than him, like around an inch or so, but whenever he's like floating like that, I like how he'd be in game, I'd say it's pretty accurate. But I could have made him a bit bigger, and I also feel like I could have made him a bit rounder because he's like kind of more oval shaped, but if you kind of push him down a little bit, he's like a bit rounder. But um, yeah, and this guy I made, like around, I think, almost four years ago now. I didn't make him around the same time that I made the uh, other Luigi's Mansion 2 ghosts. I made them in October of 2021, but this guy I made in October of 2020. So he is one of my older plushes, and a lot of the plushes I made around that time weren't that great. But I'd say this guy is kind of where the quality uh, of my plushes started to get a bit better, you know? And uh, there is a lot of flaws with him. And I do plan on making a new King Boo plush, maybe this year in October or something. I'd do a Halloween special on that. Let me know if you guys would, if you guys would be interested in that. And um, yeah, but I'll just go over some of his flaws as I go. But I would say he's a pretty good plush. I originally intended for him to be based off of the Luigi's Mansion 2 and Luigi's Mansion 3 design of him with just the uh, purple gem in the crown and then the shadowy eyes with the four teeth because in the original Luigi's Mansion, he only has two teeth, more like vampire fangs, and his eyes are more pinkish red, and same with the gem. And I did actually have a purple gem in his crown, but for some reason the way I made it was very strangely shaped. I tried to do it like 3D, and back then it was whenever my quality started to get a bit better with blushes, so I didn't do the best on it. Uh, it was like very strange, like kind of cylinder shaped. It was like a lot taller, like up to here probably. And um, I think a few months later in 2021, I just like completely removed it because I saw someone else that did a King Boo plush and like saw their technique for the gem and thought it'd look a lot better on this guy, but I probably should have made it purple. I don't, I don't know why I didn't because if I was trying to go for the Luigi's Mansion design just to alter his, to, his design to the original one, I also would have had to have him have just two fangs instead of four and then his eyes would have had to have been pinkish red, so... Yeah, he isn't really the uh, Luigi's Mansion 1 design. More so kind of a combination of his Dark Moon, or should I say Luigi's Mansion 2, and um, original design in Luigi's Mansion 1. But um, yeah, I'll give you a few more angles of him. And here's where another one of his flaws is, his tail, which I used to do the boo plushes with just a separate tail, just attached like this, which isn't how they're supposed to look. And nowadays I do them with like the tail, attached as a whole piece with like half of the uh, body but back then I would just put the tail on like this which is a lot easier I guess but yeah it doesn't look the best and I have actually made a few other King Boo plushes like of his other designs I have a Mario Sunshine King Boo and then um, just his main uh, Mario spin-off uh, Boo with just a regular crown design and um, I made the Mario spin-off one more recently in October of last year, and the uh, Sunshine one I made right after this guy, I think, because I made this guy first, and then I made the Sunshine King Boo, and a lot of the techniques are the same, but for that guy, his tail is completely differently shaped, like more of a seashell sea shape, sorry, um, and uh, with this guy, though, it doesn't really uh, look the greatest, and um, his arms are pretty simple, you know, arms or little, like, nub, whatever these are, hands are pretty simple, but the stitching could have been a bit better on them. And, um, yeah, that's another thing. You can kind of tell with the, uh, stitching quality on this guy. It isn't the greatest, because this was whenever my sewing quality is kind of changing a bit more. And I was getting a bit better at it, but the stitching just wasn't there yet, I guess. And here's a better look at his crown, which I wish these, uh, triangles were kind of, like, on, on the newer crowns I make, like on King bob -omb or King Boo on my newer ones, uh, they're like two pieces together, but for whatever reason on this one, they're flat. And as you can see in there, the gem actually isn't just this shape, because whenever I initially put the gem in, it, I guess, just wasn't, uh, it didn't like uh, actually like um, come out of the crown enough. So it, I guess, I, I don't really remember how it looked whenever I had it in at first, 
but I'm guessing it was like kind of, uh, it just didn't stand up, up enough. So I had to put this little extra cylinder piece in there, as you can see, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's just to like uh, make the gem look a bit taller. And um, yeah, this crown is pretty simple. The little band around it doesn't look the greatest. And uh, yeah, here's a good look at his eyes, which one thing I do like is how I actually have it so that the shade thing kind of is uh, behind the felt because I just like, it doesn't add, I, there is kind of a flaw with this where the, um, just how I cut this out, it is pretty sideways. As you can see, it's not like uh, fully even. And um, that is like not the greatest looking, but it isn't too noticeable. And um, yeah, I do like how I did this though, where uh, I had the black piece underneath of the white piece, which actually looks really great because most people that do the King Boo plushes have just this part sewn over the rest of it. And I guess I just decided to do it like that. But the eyes, you can kind of see the stitching there, which doesn't look the greatest. And then his mouth was actually one of the first plushes I did this on, where I actually made it 3D, just like how the official Boo plushes are. And it isn't like that, like, uh, deep, like you can kind of fit, like it's only a few inches, but um, yeah, it's basically like the same as how an all-star boot plush would be, where it's just like kind of 3D-ish. And uh, the tongue, I, I don't know what I was doing there. It should be like more inside of his mouth, like towards the back of his mouth, but for whatever reason, I have it like this, so you can kind of see where it's attached, which is another issue, because you can see some holes right there, kind of hard to tell but they are there, which is an issue I have on the Mario Sunshine King Boo as well, which I will be just showing in a future showcase in a few weeks. But um, yeah, I uh, made the tongue on that one. It's like way bigger than this one. And there's a lot of holes underneath of it just because how I had to sew it on. And um, yeah, I wish I had it, the tongue like actually inside of the mouth because it just looks weird like this. But um, yeah. Anyways, moving on to the plush. His teeth are a bit, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I didn't really, I guess I didn't really cut them out too evenly. They're kind of like, uh, I mean, they're not bad. It, that's kind of nitpicky, I guess, but they're just like a bit uneven, I guess. And um, yeah, here's the drawing, which is pretty simple. It's just his Luigi's Mansion 2 artwork. And um, yeah, not too much to say about it, but that's what I was talking about. I used to have, the gem in his crown, like the same color as his eyes, like just purple, but I just changed it to the pink, like I said. And um, yeah, but let me know what you guys think of the drawing in the comments down below. And um, yeah, back to the blush. So usually I don't edit my videos too much, but I totally forgot to include this whenever I was initially recording, because I usually just record my videos all in one take, like one 10 minute long take, but I totally forgot to show my older King Boo plush. I, I just found him, uh, and I, whenever I was originally recording the King Boo video, I completely forgot about this guy, and I just found him now, and um, kind of wanted to include it in the video, so that's why this is just like an extra clip inserted here. But um, yeah, so here's my old King Boo plush, and I mean, he, he isn't the best. Like, he's pretty simple, flat, not really even round, but um, yeah, I made this guy, I think, in 2019, and then, like I said earlier in the video, I made this guy in 2020, so there's, like, a year difference between these, which, is, the quality difference is, like, insane there, but, um, yeah, and I guess this one is based more or so off of his Luigi's Mansion design, just the first game, because, um, he has, like, the pink eyes and the pink, like, gem in the crown, but I don't know what I was going for with the crown, because as you can see, it's got the little like diamond shapes, like how the uh, Super Mario like spin-off series King Boo design has, which I, I don't know what I was going for there. And um, he also doesn't have two teeth like how the uh, original Luigi's Mansion King Boo is supposed to have. So this is more so like a, com a combination of like um, the uh, Dark Moon or Luigi's Mansion 2 design and the original Luigi's Mansion design and um, I guess sort of his uh, Super Mario series King Boo design. So I guess in a way it's like multiple all three King Boo's like designs combined. So that's kind of cool. But um, yeah, pretty simple plush, not too much to say about him. But yeah, just here's a comparison between them both. And also a massive size difference. This guy's like only like three or four inches tall, I think maybe five inches max. 
so he's pretty small and like I said earlier in the video this King Boo is like over 10 inches tall but um yeah uh back to uh the rest of the video so yeah I think that about wraps it up there isn't too much else to say about this guy I will be showing my other King Boo plushes that I mentioned before the uh, Mario series one and then the uh, Sunshine one in a few weeks I will probably do them a bit after the Luigi's Mansion videos are wrapped up and this guy is the last ghost or character from Luigi's Mansion 2 that I have. And um, I will be doing a 50 subscriber special, which I uh, didn't uh, realize until after I recorded the last two videos. But the uh, Creeper and Poltergeist video, I still was kind of uh, asking for 50 subscribers. So uh, apologies for that because I, I recorded those before I uh, hit 50 subs. So uh, yeah, um, I guess my next goal though will be 100 subscribers. So. Yeah, if you guys could like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it. But um, yeah, the 50 subscriber special will just be a Luigi's Mansion plush collection video the day Luigi's Mansion 2 HD comes out. And um, nothing too crazy, just going over, like quickly going over all the plushes. I won't be doing like full showcases of them, like how I do in the separate videos, but more so just like quickly going over them and um, just showing some of my other Luigi's Mansion plushes, like just uh, like the official ones that I've collected. But um, yeah, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for 50 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, comment, like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And let me know what you guys think of the King Boo plush in the comments down below. Definitely not the greatest. And like I said, I plan on making a newer one. Probably this year that's based off of his Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3 design. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.